Hey everyone, it's Megan with I Am Me, and I am here with this week's Boss Crush Wednesday, Brittany Vinay, and we will see you guys in a few. Welcome back and special thanks for our guest Brittany for joining us for this week's Boss Crush Wednesday. If you do not know Brittany, this woman is going to change the world and a lot of people's lives. I would be shocked if I don't see Brittany Vinay on a stage motivating thousands in the near future. She's the type of person that makes you feel like you've been like you've known her for the years for years and the first time you talk to her. She is the Canva Queen, the website mastermind, and the branding genius. After one call with her, you will be ready to take take over the world. She shares her insights and advice openly and just wants everyone to win. She goes above and beyond in everything she does. And I highly suggest after this segment, you follow her and connect with her, whether it's for a branding session, canvas session, or website work. What do I say after that? <laughs> what do I say? Thank you, Megan. Thank you for having me here on your platform. For Boss Crush Wednesday. Is that, is that right? <laughs> yep, Boss Crush Wednesday. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me on your platform. I'm excited about these questions that are coming. You're welcome. Anything else you want to share that I missed? No! That, <laughs> what, what do I say? <laughs> what do I say? What is there to say after that? <laughs> I need to to use some of that actually <laughs> in my bio. I'll get over to you. <laughs> 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 All right, so we'll get right to the questions. Um, your company is Vinay Virtual. How did Vinay Virtual start? So Vinay Virtual started about two years ago. I was a stay-at-home mom. I had just earned my best my master's degree, and you know, sometimes being a stay-at-home mom it's a blessing. Um, I I was so grateful to be a stay-at-home mom. But I lost a little bit of myself. Um, I lost a little bit of my independence, and I didn't like that. Um, I've been working since I was 14. So to now be home with a baby, you know, taking care of a baby and a home, it was so different for me. And even though I had a lot of responsibilities in the home, something was missing. And it was just that um, sense of having a professional life. So I was like, I'm gonna start a business. <laughs> and um, I was browsing the internet one day and I came across virtual assistants. I had no idea that there was this world of virtual assistants. Yeah. And as soon as I saw it, I dived in and I got as much information as I could. And I was like, yes, this is what I'm gonna do. I have been doing administration for so long anyway, Pro program coordination and like business management. It was right up my alley. So I did some studying and I got my LLC and I started my business. Um, it was about a year in that I realized I love website design. Okay. And the short version of how that came about is of course I did my own website. At that time it was on Squarespace. I had a client who was um, an attorney. She had her own law firm. I was her virtual assistant. Wow. And she said, who did your website? I'm like, I did. So she's like, well, I want you to do mine. And I'm like, really? Okay. So I did hers and someone asked her, who did your website? Crazy. And the referrals kept coming. Um, I've always had a knack for creativity and art, and I, I just love design. And it was right up my alley. I love to draw. I love color. Um, I always have. And it was a no-brainer that I needed to make the shift in my business. And when I made the shift is when I began to see growth in my business. So that is how the name virtual <laughs> came about. Hi. You brought up, of course, your family. How is it balancing a business while raising a family? I know being stuck home, it's balancing this, hoping a kid doesn't pop up in a video or hoping a kid doesn't show up in your meeting or someone doesn't fall and get hurt. Um, how is that? Or um, I know you kind of touched on it, or could you give advice to someone considering kind of transitioning into the life with children? 
Absolutely. So you know what? It's fun being able to still be home with the kids and run my business. I get to choose my schedule. I get to make my schedule how I want it to be. Um, but I will admit in the beginning, it was a little rough because I wanted my daytime to be prioritized with them first. Um, and so what happened was I would be up all night. Yeah you know, doing work and it was exhausting. And I'm like, I can't do this. Thank God I have a therapist who was like, you know, and a nutritionist who was like, no, we're going to get seven to eight hours of sleep. <laughs> and I'm like, you're absolutely right. So now I'm able to plan my days. I, you know, do work when it's nap time and I wake up very early to get things out of the way. Um, in between, you know, I can send emails easily and do stuff like that. And then I have a few hours of evening time set out for work. So it's all about balance and boundaries. Um, and for me, that is the key for anyone who is juggling, you know, being a parent parentpreneur, having a nine to five and working on their business, being a caregiver or having any other responsibility. It's all about how you manage your time. And, um, you know, when it comes to family, I've always had the rule, family comes first. I believe in it so much, I have it tattooed on me. <laughs> family first. Um, so I don't sacrifice anything for my kids. They come first, their well-being comes first. Um, but I'm all about time management. Um, and I don't put more on my body than it can handle. If I've had enough in a day, that's it. I'm not going to overwhelm my mind or my body trying to get a task done because then my heart's not even going to be in it. Yeah. Um, so I always make sure that I have that high energy um, so that I can, you know, be there for them and show up in my business. Okay. So I have deemed you the Canva queen. I don't know if you've had that title before today, but you have it now. <laughs> How has Canva accelerated your business for yourself, for your clients? Um, I know you've sent out master classes. I know I've seen master classes. I know you got me hooked on Canva um, and I can't imagine how many other people you have, but what has it done for you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Before this entrepreneurial journey, I had no idea what a Canva was. <laughs> and so it's, you know, doing my research, I heard everyone talking about Canva. As soon as I, downloaded Canva and I saw all the things that I could do. First of all, let me just tell y'all what Canva is. So Canva is this platform that allows you to design everything from social media posts to documents for a one sheet, a resume. Um, you can do presentations on Canva, which is amazing. I love, I don't use, I don't use PowerPoint anymore. <laughs> I can the presentations. Um, the amount of tools and elements is just unlimited. There is audio and video and images, Canva stock photos. There's so much you can do. So <laughs> when I started my business, now of course I didn't have as much of the skill as I have now, but I designed my own social media posts. My welcome packets for my clients are designed on Canva. Um, my portfolio on Canva. I use Canva for um, proposals, every single thing. And I had no idea then that I would be able to provide services for my clients like social media aesthetic and allow them to easily download these templates on Canva and just switch out colors with their brand colors, you know, their images, their fonts for their brands. It is so easy because my clients don't want to be bothered with all the time that it takes to put these designs together. So being able to put it together for them and they easily just with the phone, just can bring it up and post it. You can even post from Canva. It's so convenient and it has made all the difference. It saved me so much time. It saved my clients time and money. I absolutely love it. I couldn't live without Canva. <laughs> yeah, I love it, of course. I'm just kind of getting in the start of it, but it's almost turned into an addiction of, it's so easy to provide good, clean content that it's just, it takes the peace of mind of planning. And then I even um, 
learn I think in like the past two days you can schedule things from Canva <laughs> and I was like okay wait anything that has the word schedule in it I'm cool with yes. let's do it <laughs> and I love that you just said good clean content because yeah. For any entrepreneur that's listening to this right now, when you post something, you want it to be professional. So we don't necessarily want to see a screenshot that you've taken and cropped it and then put it on your page. Yeah. No, make it yours at least. Um, and that's exactly what Canva can do for you. And it's free unless you want the paid version, which is still very affordable. Yeah. All right. So we touched on a little bit of your day. What is a typical day for you? I mean, it's Lord, okay. So I wake up at about 5.30 in the morning. Okay. Um, the first thing I do is I thank God and check my horoscope. <laughs> what the day is going to be like. And then I like to just see what like the, the news is, what's going on in the world. And then, you know, after I do a little bit of personal care, I dive right into work because I still have a good couple of hours before the kids wake up. <laughs> um, and I, I generally like to start with, you know, emails, which I'm scheduling out. And if I have to do some design posts or social media, I like to get that out of the way. And then once you know what the kids are up, we're doing all kinds of things. It's summertime right now. So we just have the whole day to play, go out, do whatever we have to do. In between, of course, sometimes, you know, like I said, emails come up or what have you. The day goes by so fast. Yep. Once you know it, it's the evening time. <laughs> and then it's winding on down, personal care, and then we're right back to work. Um, I have a strict cutoff time at 11.30. I do not work past 11.30, and I try not to stay awake past 11.30 <laughs> um, because I have to get right back up in the morning, and I even do the same on the weekends. So mm -hmm. I still get up very early on the weekends, and it's still the same 11.30. There's a whole <laughs> lot to do, so I have to use that time as well. Okay. So on my Monday moments I've talked about recently, um, defining your own success. Uh, I think there is a kind of like a worldly definition. Maybe it's just the United States definition of get into a good college, get a good job that has retirement, that has time off and then retire. And that's what it is. Um, and I strongly disagree with that point because I feel like once you get that good job, people lose the drive to do anything else. I got the job. I hate it, but whatever. How would you define success in your life? Um, for me, success is having the freedom to do as I please. And in achieving that, it means that every day I'm waking up in alignment with who I want to be and where I want to go. And so who I want to be is a woman who is financially Free. Um, I don't have, you know, debts and things tying me down. I want to be able to work anywhere in the world. I want to be able to travel and just, you know, be able to experience life and enjoy life. And like I always say, I want to, you know, meet people and see beautiful places and eat the best foods. And, you know, I want to be able to give my kids you know, the experiences and have them see the world. Um, and, you know, if they want to play sports or if they have a hobby or if they want to start a business or whatever it is, I just want to have, you know, the time and the means to be able to give it to them. I've already gone to college and gotten the degrees that I don't use. They're still in the envelope. You know, like I've done the things that, that society says we should do. I've gotten married and gotten unmarried, <laughs> you know, like I did the things that we were supposed to do. And guess what? Those things weren't for me. Um, and so now I'm doing the things that I want to do that feel good in my soul. And that is success. Okay. I like it. And I like that you brought up like just experiencing things. I think some people are scared to make the leap because of the security. And then it's like, you don't realize how much more security you have in life. And between COVID and downsizing and virtual, there's no job that has any security. Um, yeah, yeah, so it's hard. <laughs> All right, so I have two more questions. 
what what's next what's the rest of the year look like what's a year from now look like what's next for you so what's next is expanding the brand um i am going higher you'll hear a lot of that if you follow me we are going higher 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 and that means that i always want to evolve i always want my clients to evolve my friends anyone around me um i never want to stay stagnant so in any way if, if you follow me you see that i elevated my brand colors you'll see um different imagery coming services are being elevated i'm able to provide more to my clients because i'm doing more study for myself um, more education for myself i've invested a lot lately in um you know like business coaching and marketing so in every aspect <laughs> We're elevating in the fall. I'll be relaunching my apparel line. There are going to be other items coming with that. <laughs> and this is the first time I even said that. So <laughs> you hear it here first. Um, I'm just in every way that I can building the business so that I can provide opportunities to other people um, in the future. That's all I want to do. I want to be able to build a team um to scale to build a team <laughs> and to just be i don't even know what it's gonna be whatever it's gonna be it's gonna be grand <laughs> yeah it sounds like it and you can tell like i love following you i love seeing all your posts and it's just little tidbits of it's not overpowering where it's like man eh, she talks too much it's the perfect taste of what you have going on what someone needs to just kind of brighten their day a little bit. Um, and I think that was like my big attraction, like business-wise with you, it was like, you just, you have it all down. Um, everything's very clean cut. And of course, being an entrepreneur, we never have it all down. But no. <laughs> it no, definitely looks like everything just flows, you know your colors, you know this, you know what works, you know what doesn't work. Um, so it's definitely a very admirable trait that you carry. <laughs> I appreciate that. Um, so that was it for the questions and I know you've seen some of the other videos so you know what's coming next um, so the this or that Yay. <laughs> simple answers it'll be you have two options quick answers um, the men that I have interviewed so far were incapable of quick answers um, so they always kind of stumbled so we got to work for team women and see if we can uh, <laughs> show them up a little bit <laughs> yeah. um, so we'll go through I'll pull out some questions and then just to pass third, the first thing that comes to mind, you can just spit it out. Oh, this is ready? Yes. Okay. Vacation or staycation? Vacation. Netflix or Hulu? Oh, Netflix. Night or morning? Oh, night. Rich and famous or rich and unknown? Oh, rich and unknown. <laughs> passenger <laughs> or driver? Oh, passenger. Okay. Oh, money or owe a favor? A favor. Okay. Attend a party or host a party? Host a party. Cash or credit? Oh, cash. Reality shows or documentaries? Reality shows. Red wine or white wine? White wine. Bleh. White wine. Red. Red. <laughs> Photos or videos? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> videos. Okay. Social media message or text message? Text. French fries or onion rings? French fries. Cash app or Venmo? Cash app. Instagram or Twitter? Oh, Instagram. Roller coasters or water slides? Ooh, roller coasters. Interviewer or interviewee? Ooh, interviewee. Okay. Pep talk or motivational quote? Motivational quote. Book smarts or street smarts? Come on, Megan. <laughs> I can't answer that because I need a little bit of both. I can't. <laughs> that one, that's that's a tricky one. I need a little bit of both. I can't I can't choose that one. But if I had to, I'm gonna have to choose Street Smart. <laughs> I knew that one was coming. Once you once you put on, I was just like, ah, a little bit of both. No. <laughs> have a little bit of books, but bring me to street a little bit. <laughs> yeah, because I don't want to be finessed. <laughs> Last question. Drums or flats? Flat. <laughs> you are the first person to say flats. And I'm like, uh, yeah. who eats drums? <laughs> hey. Oh, that was fun. I, I could do that all day. <laughs> all right. 
So the next segment is all about you. It's called Talk Your Ish. So here's your time. Have your commercial. Say whatever you want. Um, let them know where to reach you, what the best way to reach you is, and what you have to offer. Because I know, but uh, we want to let the world know. Hey, everybody. It's Brittany Benet of Benet Virtual, and I'm a brand and website designer and consultant helping entrepreneurs and influencers just like you leverage their brands and websites with designs that are not just aesthetically pleasing, but that actually work for you and that you can make money from. So you can follow me um, at Benet Virtual on Instagram, Pinterest, Twitter, and Facebook. You can visit my website at www.benetvirtual.com. And if you really want to get personal and email me, you can do that at support at benetvirtual.com. Thank you so much, Megan, for having me. This is You're amazing. <laughs> so I give everybody the option at the end. If you choose, you can ask me one question. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, um, if you could accomplish any goal in this, the, the no, let me start over. <laughs> if you could accomplish any goal before the start of the fourth quarter, what would it be? So, no one knows this, but I have a goal plan dream that's not on paper yet I want to provide basically financial coaching and budget planning for teenagers that just entered the workforce um, I feel like if you start them early start them quick just teach them simple things of you can have your future goals and your current goals if you start planning early um, that is my goal um, so my fourth quarter I would like to Kind of get it on paper get it exactly how i want to do it whether it's one-on-one -on -one, whether it's group sessions um who i would want to partner with and just kind of get that started and moving um, and it would be just my plan right now is no fees no anything just really if they if people are taught financial literacy from 14 15 16 they can get the car that they need to get the better job they can get the home that they need if they're you know ready to move out and um so that is my in the clouds kind of working goal for i love that and like the fourth quarter is going to be here before we know it and i yeah. asked that because i was just thinking about the fourth quarter so <laughs> that's amazing i'm here for it you know i'm going to be supporting every step of the way i appreciate it um but that about sums us up for this episode's or this week's episode of Boss Crush Wednesday, which is really more like Women Crush Wednesday. Um, I admire your just authenticity. Ever since I met you, it's just been you just pull people in and in a great way. And it started, a lot of people don't know, we met through Kevin did a branding shoot. And then I was like, nope, she needs to do our website. And it was, I'm big on personalities and you just have this aura about you that says, if you're around me, you're going to win. I'm going to win. And anybody I'm speaking to is going to win. And you just have this care for people and care for people's success that outshines a lot of the world. So I appreciate you taking the time to join us on this episode. I appreciate you. You're so gorgeous. Thank you so much. You're welcome. So see you all later.